Hello everyone, I'm making this video because several days ago I made another one talking about Anthem and how I basically gave up on the game because of a game-breaking bug about 10 hours after I started playing, in addition to generally not enjoying the experience in these 10 hours. The video got a fair amount of views, but more importantly, it got quite a lot of comments. And so this video is kind of a soft response to some of the comments posted there, mostly those that criticize what I had to say. Many, for example, have said or otherwise implied that the main purpose for making this video was to just hate on Anthem and hate on Bioware and watch others do so, and in doing so get more views and more ad revenue and that sort of thing. The truth actually is that I was a huge Bioware fan. I, I dare to say I was one of the biggest Bioware fans ever. I remember back at school, I was probably 10 years old, I would spend my lunch money to go to I was about to say internet cafes, but back then they didn't even have internet, so I suppose computer clubs or something like that. So I would go there during my lunch break to play Baldur's Gate, the first game. However, my love for Bioware didn't fully develop until KOTOR and especially the first Mass Effect and Dragon Age games. I, you wouldn't believe how excited I was when I first played these games. From the moment I started playing my Origin in Dragon Age, I was hooked. I couldn't wait to do every single thing until Arl Howe betrayed us and then explore all of Ostagar, talk to everyone, talk to each and every party member between every mission, talk to Liliana every time I visit a new location so that she can tell me what she thinks or what she knows about it. And it was the same thing in Mass Effect and as soon as I finished those games I would immediately replay them to try out new choices, to try out um, you know, a new background for Shepard or new origins for Dragon Age. I loved them. And, and that spark, that magic if you will, is simply missing in Anthem. Ironic as this may sound because there's quite a lot of magic in Anthem. Looking back, I also remember getting my very first scholarship. Uh, I think it was the first year in university, and I also got my very first debit card, you know, to get the scholarship on it. And the first thing I did was I went home and I ordered Mass Effect 2. It was a physical copy back then, and as soon as the game arrived, the first thing I did was I went to the Cerberus network, I'm sure some of you remember the Cerberus network, and I bought all of the DLC, all of it, for Mass Effect 2. That is how excited I was to give Bioware all my money, and I think they deserved it. Now, Dragon Age 2 I did not like quite as much, but I still bought all of the relevant DLC, you know, except for the cosmetics, but it all went downhill in Mass Effect 3. Now, first off, I couldn't wait for Mass Effect 3. I was so hyped from the marketing, I had pre-ordered, you know, the deluxe edition, whatever it was called, and the game actually released two days earlier in the US, I live in Europe, so I had to wait for two days until it comes to Europe. The American audience saw it and many threads started popping out about the ending. That is in the old Bioware forums, the Bioware social network. I don't think it exists anymore. Anyway, so I would actually, and I'm not proud of this, but I did it. I would try to defend the game before ever playing it, claiming that there is no way the ending is so bad that it ruins the whole series, that it invalidates Mass Effect 2 or you know any of the any of the things that people were complaining about in regards to the ending, I would try and reject. Then I started playing the game, and the game was not bad at all. I mean the dialogue choices were dialed down, but the conclusion to the Quarian and Geth conflict, the Genophage and all that, were pretty solid. And then came the ending. Never before Mass Effect 3's ending, or since, have I been so frustrated, so annoyed, so disappointed and, and just felt so bad about a video game. You know, I was one of these people who, as soon as I saw the ending, I immediately loaded up the latest save to replay it again, thinking I might have missed something or skipped something or, or just done something wrong because I could not believe this is how they decided to end the game. And that was the big moment. That was the moment where I was like, okay, something's not right. I waited eagerly for the extended cut, but sadly it basically didn't fix anything. At least not any of the things that I had problems with in terms of the ending. So from that point on, I suddenly became critical. And while I still enjoyed Star Wars The Old Republic, and I was subscribed to that game for years, for a year and a half or so, I was subscribed on two accounts. So I've given Bioware slash EA 
a ton of money. Now, some people accuse me that it is because of me that games such as Mass Effect Andromeda or Anthem are having problems. I would argue it's because of me that Bioware are actually successful, because I've bought everything they made and have been subscribed to their services for so long. And to this day, Star Wars Your Republic is a game I still enjoy and I still look forward to its updates. Dragon Age Inquisition was alright, I think overall it was a good game, I recommend it. But then came Mass Effect Andromeda. And while Mass Effect 3's ending might have been the most terrible thing in gaming ever, at least the game prior to that point was not that bad. Andromeda on the other hand, gosh, if you ask me now to tell you one thing I loved about Mass Effect Andromeda, I can't think of a single one. The game was just worse on so many levels than anything else I've played from Bioware before. I just, since Mass Effect Andromeda, I could no longer call myself a Bioware fan. I was just disappointed. But then many people said that Andromeda is bad because it was made by Bioware's B team. Because the A team is working on Anthem and, you know, Anthem's gonna be the next big game. Bob Dylan, did they call it? And I'm not seeing it. And some people in the comments have said that I've only played the game for about 10 hours and it's pretty much at that point when it gets good. Gosh, I don't know, it may be true. Alright, it may be that after 10 hours the game becomes the greatest thing ever. But still, the first 10 hours were not. I didn't have to wait 10 hours in Mass Effect 1 to be hooked. The moment I stepped out of the Normandy, I was excited. You know, hearing the gunshot, interacting with the beacon, talking to every single person I met on the freaking Citadel, making circles around the ship between every mission to see if a new dialogue popped up with any of my companions. And that's why I was disappointed, because Apparently, Mass Effect Andromeda wasn't so good, so that Anthem can be good. Apparently, The Old Republic didn't get enough content, so that Anthem can be good. And I just wanted more. Like the dying Arald Hal would say. And so, no, I'm not making these videos to hate the game on purpose, or to hate the game for views, or fame, or, or anything like that. In fact, before The Witcher 3 came out, I would easily say that Dragon Age Origins was my favorite game of all time. So I actually wanted to love Anthem. I wanted it to be the spiritual successor of Mass Effect or, or something like that. And I don't know, maybe it becomes one day, but I'm just not seeing it. Now, what else did people criticize me for? Um, apparently, I got it wrong. I said that the voice actor is the exact same guy who voices the male rider in Mass Effect Andromeda. And apparently that's not the case. I still hold to the opinion, however, that to me it sounds exactly the same. People were like, why didn't you do a 5 minute Google search to check? Um, I didn't do it because I was 100% convinced. I apologize for that. But the overall point I was trying to make is not necessarily that the voice acting was bad in Andromeda and so it's bad here as well. It's just that I was very much reminded of an unpleasant experience I had while playing Andromeda. Others have said that I lied about the bug, you know, the game-breaking bug I got, which was basically when I unlocked the second javelin, the game crashed and I could no longer load that save. People have been talking about workarounds, but the workarounds they describe require me to actually play the game. And from their comments, I think there is probably a lighter version of that bug, where as soon as you unlock a second javelin, the game would start crashing only under certain circumstances. I think for some people it only crashes when you access the forge, and so people were talking about how to fix that. In my case, it crashes as it's trying to load. I cannot load the save, I cannot enter the game and do anything inside. So it's completely broken. The only solution is to start over. I even re-downloaded the game and the same thing happens. So I'm actually getting this bug that I'm describing. As the game loads, it just crashes to desktop and that's it. People have also said, and they might be trolling, but just in case I'll address it, that I only played for 10 hours because my trial ran out. And yes, there is a 10 hour trial that costs just 3 euro, 4 euro, something like that, but I actually went for the full premium access of the whole game, you can see it here. And in fact, I didn't even play for 10 hours, it was like 9.5 hours. Um, others have said that I shouldn't criticize it because this is just early access, if it was free, I would have no problem with that statement, but happening on an early access that's supposed to be a paid exclusive feature? No, I wouldn't say that's okay. Yet others have commented that I have wrong expectations. 
that this game is not supposed to be about what Mass Effect was about or what Dragon Age was about. And I guess, I guess I'm wrong, and maybe these people are right. It's probably the fact that I've been playing Bioware games for so long and have gotten used to what to expect from their games that I simply cannot fathom the fact that they can produce something that doesn't have as good of a you know, story and main character and world as I'm used to. So I think that's it. Another update, I suppose. I couldn't actually refund my pre-order. Apparently my pre-order was processed too long ago um, that there was no way for me to cancel it. And as for the purchase of the early access thing, that is a subscription-based service, so I cancelled it, but it's still active for a month, so can't get a refund on that either. And so I'm stuck with Anthem, so maybe if they fix the bug and I don't have to start over, and once I'm done with other games I'm playing, maybe I'll give Anthem another shot. Who knows? So that's basically it. Um, some of you might think that it's not a wise move to defend against people who, you know, claim that I'm only hating on the game or something like that. And I normally wouldn't do it if it was from another game, from a developer that I didn't care about. But yeah, I think I should stop talking because I'm just rambling. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good.